Just how much difference does playing golf at high altitude really make? Let's find out. And let's do it now. Hi everyone, James Robinson here. If you're new to the channel and this is your first time watching my content, first of all guys, welcome to the channel. Second of all, please make sure you do consider hitting that subscribe button before you leave. That way you won't miss any of the great golf related content that I bring to you guys every single day. In today's video, we are here in the beautiful Woolly Park Golf Club Simulator because, well, it's freezing outside and also I couldn't recreate seven and a half thousand meters of altitude outside you couldn't do it and to be precise that's 7870 feet of altitude because so that's where the guys played last week at the wgc in mexico where patrick reed won again we'll not talk about that bryson dechambeau came second and the golf course played at 7870 feet of altitude that's high up that means the golf ball is going to travel a long way and if you watch the event then you will know that basically people were hitting it a very 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 long way not gonna lie guys i kind of got a little bit bored of it i got bored of the commentators saying mcelroy's hit a 410 yard drive justin thomas has hit a 450 yard drive where's my 400 yard drive well you see I don't think we'll reach those staggering heights. I'm going to put on screen now some of the longest drives that we did see last week. <sighs> Boring, right? <sighs> and we're going to see just how much difference that altitude does make. You see, here in the simulator at Woolley Park Golf Club, we can alter the altitude. So usually when I do testing, when I do reviews, when I do anything, everything is based at sea level because that's what you can work off. It's nice and consistent. And generally when we play golf, it's around about at sea level. But as you see on screen now, we are able just to adjust the altitude and put it at 7,870 feet. So basically, well, basically, does that mean we're in Mexico? I've been in Mexico, I don't think so. Love Mexico, by the way. Love Coronas, love tequila, love it all. Right, so we're gonna start, guys. We're gonna go gap wedge, then we're gonna go seven iron, then we're gonna go driver. These are all at sea level. And then, um, you kind of guessed it, we're gonna go at, uh, we're gonna go at altitude. So having a guess here, my numbers with the gap wedge would usually be around 110 carry, something like that. Spinning it around maybe eight, 9,000, just a nice high number. That's a nice one to start with. Pulled it a little bit. The seven iron will be about 165 carry, maybe 170. The driver around 270 carry. 108 carry, 9,000 spin, called it. How about that for a first strike as well? Yes, please. We are also using TaylorMade TP5X golf balls in the picks variety because, well, in the fitting, it seemed to work for me, didn't it? We're not going to hit too many shots, but we're going to hit maybe three or five of each just so I get some, just so I get some good shots on all of them. That felt like a great swing as well. Always swing it good in here, always. 109 carry, 8.5 backspin. Good to know your numbers. Let's go one more with the gap wedge because these are fairly consistent. And that's going to be pretty consistent again. That's on the line as well. Now, I've got to admit, guys, this wasn't my idea. Oh, it's not missed miss the line. 108 carry. This wasn't my idea. And John, who was in the video the other day about building their own golf course in the backyard, it was John's idea. John sent me a text the other day. I think he'd probably had a few beers, maybe a few Coronas, because he was hitting balls at elevation with the new Ping G710 irons. And he said, I'm hitting a 7 iron 200 yards. And I thought, Ding. What a great idea for content. So here we are in the simulator room at Woolley Park, not quite in Mexico, but we're going to see exactly how much difference it does make. Guys, hit those comments below. How far do you think you could hit a driver at 7,870 feet elevation? I think, I'm guessing, I might be able to tip 300, hopefully. No one really cares about the gap wedge or the 7 iron, but... But we had to make it slightly scientific, didn't we? Not just smashing drivers. 165 carry, called it again. That'll be a little bit longer because I've pulled it. 168 carry, sorry guys, sorry. Right, one more seven and then we'll move on to the big dog. And you might be asking, if you already know how far the clubs go, why are you bothering hitting them at sea level? Why not just jump straight into the altitude? Then you can kind of work off what you know. And you see, whenever you test something, this is a little bit of a lesson for everyone. It was a lesson for me as well. Whenever I test drivers, whenever I compare things, I have to hit them on the same day because otherwise you're comparing against a swing of previous, comparing a swing against a swing of old. Who knows the saying, you're only as good as your last game or your last swing. Exactly. Right, last seven iron. And obviously guys, really important, that's gotta be on the line, is it? 
No, right. It's really important that I don't just all of a sudden, when we go into altitude, start trying to swing it a little bit harder. Start trying to smash the stripes off the ball. Stripes off the ball? Well, stripe the picks off the ball, I guess. Right, James Driver at sea level. We're just going to try and hit this about kind of 80% so I can, again, reenact it or try and do exactly the same thing when we're at altitude so the test is fair and we can see just exactly how much difference it makes. 300 yards, please. It's gone left, so typical fashion. 270 ish carry, I think I called it pretty much. Well, that's gone a long way, a lot of run on that one. 278 carry. So, just like in a lot of my reviews at the moment, just like when I'm playing, I do find I'm finding a little bit more speed. And it is nice that that's consistent throughout different launch monitors, throughout different countries, golf courses. It's just nice. I mean, also, guys, let's not lie, that was a massive pull as well. So, that's always going to help, but. There's the one, little fade. Pitch around 268, we'll call this one. Oh, a little bit longer, but still nice. We like it. 275 carry, yes, please. Right guys, this is the last shot at sea level. And then we're going to altitude. Don't know what I was trying to do there, sorry. Creative vision sort of got me a little bit, but right. Come on, let's get one out there. Two, 275 again, nice and consistent. Gotta be exactly the same. Gotta be a little bit right, but 270 carry. So, so if we now have a look at all these numbers, they're all pretty much exactly where I would expect. We'll look at the averages because they were all pretty consistent. So we have an average spin with the wedge of 9,049. We have an average carry of 108. So the shots there are 108, 109, 108, pretty consistent. And we have an average total of 113. With the seven iron, we have an average spin at 5.4, which is a little bit low, but that's nothing new to me. We have an average carry of 165, which I think I called that, I'm not gonna lie, I'm pretty sure I called it. An average total of 177. And with the driver, we have an average spin of 119. Obviously the first one was a pull and that was quite a low spin. An average carry distance of 274, I think I said 275. An average total of 300, but that really doesn't mean anything at all. Right guys, we're now gonna start with the gap wedge at altitude, and we are gonna change the altitude, as you can see here, to 7,000. 870 ish, as close as we can get to it. 7,000. That'll do. 7,857. So that now is giving us a high altitude. And what I'm not going to do, I'm not going to talk you through the numbers as and when I hit them because that would make this video very, very boring for you all. I might do with the drive if we get some real big ones, but. Generally, I would expect to see around 10%-ish. The highest altitude I've ever played is in South Africa, and that's, I'm not gonna lie guys, I don't remember, but it's nowhere near the altitude of Mexico. So right, gap wedge, high altitude, three shots, let's go. It's a perfect stride, just like the other ones. Perfect. Interesting, very, very, very interesting. Stay tuned to this. Another perfect one. I've got to apologise for this picks ball afterwards because we are literally tearing the picks off it. Oh, yes, please. It's another great one. Always hit it well in here. Might have to join you here. Woolly Park Golf Club. Right, guys, moving up to the 7-iron at high altitude. The altitude is now set at 7,000-something feet. If I've said metres and I meant feet and I meant feet and I meant metres, then it is feet, okay? And you see, we find that a lot of the caddies last week were complaining, were, well, not complaining, but were finding it very, very difficult to judge how far the shots were going, to judge distances. Distances books are usually fairly simple, if we can call them, they're usually quite, they're not simple, they're not simple at all. But these ones in Mexico were absolutely ridiculous. They had so many equations in them, it was frightening. Right, seven iron. Swing it so good today, very consistent. Interesting. All I can say guys is interesting. I'm not gonna ruin the video for you now. You're gonna have to stay tuned until the end, but yeah. Yeah.
Throw a blanket over all these. What's wrong with me today? I'm absolutely ripping it. Right, guys, that's enough of the wedge in the seven. Let's go to the big dog at altitude. This is going to be fun. And you see, guys, just like I said earlier in the video, I'm not going to try and absolutely smash the picks off. <laughs> smash the picks off. <laughs> oh, dear. I'm not going to try and hit these golf balls any harder. I'm going to try and hit them exactly the same as I would do normally. So this is a fully fair scientific hypothesis. Test. Wrong word again. Stop trying to use big words. Oh, wow. Wow. So I think it's okay to move to Mexico, isn't it? Right? Yeah. What an enjoyable experience this is. I mean, I might be giving it away here, but that's... Oh yeah. Oh yeah. And you see, for me, this is an interesting one because all the brands and the manufacturers were really kind of, they were sort of taking it a little bit far with the marketing aspect, weren't they? Rory McIlroy hitting it 410, Justin Thomas hitting it 450, and it's like, well, yeah. And then the European Tour's Twitter, for me, got a little bit boring as well. It was like, yeah, we know, we know. And then people do YouTube videos on it and that's boring as well, so. Right guys, last shot. And all I'm gonna say is you're gonna wanna stay tuned for this because this is, I mean, it's a test that's probably been done before, but I've never done it, so. Right. Just a normal swing again. Go on, go on. Ah, oh, wow. Guys, I'm not gonna beat around the bush anymore. I'm not gonna keep you any longer. I'm gonna show you these numbers. Get ready for this. So guys, we're gonna start with the gap wedge. And if we remember, just a real quick glance over 108, 109, 108 for an average of 108. Now, if we glide down here and have a look at the gap wedge in altitude, 121, 117, 125 for a 121 carry average. Now that was spinning at eight, nine, so still a nice spin number. And the total distance was one, two, nine, as opposed to a total distance of one, 13 there. As for the seven iron, again, just a little quick recap, spinning at five, five, we'll call that for the sake of argument. Average carry one, six, five, average total one, seven, seven. Throw that in at altitude and we have an average carry of one, eight, seven, an average total of 200 yards. Now, that's quite a lot, isn't it? The spin a little bit lower at 5.3, but still very consistent. Can we just have a moment's silence for the consistency of my swings today as well? Now let's look at what everyone wants to look at. The big dog was an average of 2.74, an average of 300 total. Throw that up at altitude and we had an average of 300 yards carry and 332 yard total. And that was spinning again quite low at 2,000. Luckily we had a really low one there. So that couldn't be any more of a fair test if I tried. And I have tried. Guys, thank you so much. I've, I mean, I really hope you've enjoyed that. that. That is a little bit kind of, I suppose there's a lesson to be learned there. Make sure you know what altitude you are playing at. Usually when they're on tour, people know exactly what altitude they're playing at. They will work out an equation. Obviously they will take a track man with them to the event. They'll make sure they know exactly how far they're hitting it. 300 yards carry. Yes, 332 yards total. Guys, thank you so much for watching. I do hope you've enjoyed that. I will throw all the numbers up on the end so you can have a look and scientific wise, if you want to really delve into it, you're more than welcome to. I really hope you have enjoyed it. Guys, massive thanks as well to the guys here at Woolly Park Golf Club. What a fantastic facility this is. The golf course is also amazing, but unfortunately, it's, um, is it still raining? Unfortunately, still hammering it down outside. Guys, thanks so much for watching. And please do take a second to hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. We've just reached 90,000 subscribers and the goal is to get to 100. So I can't wait for that. And I really want you guys to be a part of it. Leave us a like if you enjoyed that video. Hit those comments below. How far would you hit it? And apart from that, I'll see you tomorrow.